Hello and welcome to Merlin's Brick News, the weekly show on all things brick building where we talk about set updates and announcements from all the major brands, mocks of the week and new LEGO ideas entries as well. Information is presented as always by setdb.org, the best source for set information on the internet. Let's get started right away. As always in alphabetical order, we will start with the brand Blue Bricks. And here we have a couple of announcements. First, the medieval building site is available, the 104727. 212 pieces. Blue Bricks is asking for 70 euros. As always in Europe, that includes tax for the American audience. That's 3.2 cents a piece. And yeah, I mean, it, it is a. I mean, it's not, I guess, a building that, you know, gets you excited. It's not like Blaustein Castle, um, the huge. A medieval castle that is, I think nowadays at 17,000 pieces. <laughs> um, but I mean, it is a it is a construction site, and I think it can enrich a lot of medieval builds or high fantasy builds. So it's designed by Marco, who has done very recently, I think the uh, medieval farmhouse, I guess it was called, um, and he's also the designer behind the new beer rock castle that Blue Bricks has announced and is currently working on. Anyhow, this one is available the same way as the Timbered Bakery, the 105077, 1684 pieces and Blue Bricks is asking for 80 euros, that's 4.7 cents a piece. I have actually no idea why this one is so much more expensive uh, per piece calculated um, uh, than the medieval building site. It's like always an up take around 50% right price per piece and again I, I just if you look at it I mean it looks very similar right you have a lot of bricks uh, reddish brown uh, white bricks yeah you have you have for sure more tiles that could be the reason but at the end of the day I have no time anyhow it doesn't really matter maybe for most folks I think it is a very fancy nice beautiful set in many ways very detailed actually i have built from the timber series from blue bricks i have built a few buildings i think that all of them were designed by marco as well and i think he's done an amazing job there was a timber restaurant i guess it was called not 100 sure it was a very pretty large one almost like a modular building and this was this one of the coolest building especially when you look into the details of the interior um, one of the most detailed buildings i've ever ever done far beyond anything i've ever seen in a modular for instance but yeah here we go yet now we have a small one blue bricks is asking for 80 euros and then we have the roman helmet the 105 132 526 pieces blue bricks is asking for 28 euros it is a smaller set so price per piece is for sure a bit worse that's 5.3 cents a piece designed by Anton I think it's one out of three helmets that Blue Bricks has initially announced I think there have been let me just briefly check yeah there have been three helmets uh, the gladiator helmet that is already out now the Roman helmet and then we have the Spartan a helmet that is still uh, announced but not released yet as always for those of you who may not know um, the way this works with Blue Bricks is they announce a set and they do this in a irregular cadence like every week usually right I talk about these announcements as well actually this week we have only one I think and then it takes between I would say usually with blue brick specials something around six months with blue brick pro sets and um, we will come to one of those in a second as well it can go a lot faster but anyhow if you for instance think uh, think about the Roman helmet um, yeah, I think it was maybe like half a year. Anyhow, then we have a Japanese sports car. That's the 105134. 947 pieces. Blue Bricks is asking for 43 euros. And again, like all the sets before, that includes tax over here. 4.5 cents a piece. Um, I think that's a Nissan... GT something. Um, I'm, I'm really not so much into cars. But anyhow, um, usually Blue Bricks is, at least for the special series, um, they are not usually going into licensing deals with automotive manufacturers. So that's why usually they have fancy norms like this. Um, but I guess for those of you who are um, petrol heads, uh, you will immediately know what this one looks like. I have a slight feeling this looks a bit like the car that, I don't know, was driven in the beginning of Fast and the Furious 2. I'm not sure. I'm really not a not a petrohead. <laughs> I really don't know this stuff. But here you go. You have an American sports car. And then in a uh, you know, Japanese sports car. But we have an American beach casino. The 103 
So just look at the number. We are deep in the 105 numbers nowadays. Usually this, this should be a very old set. It's like several years old. But actually, to my knowledge, this is the first time it is available. So between announcements in this case, I think it was, it must have been... I think this was announced before I even started my channel, so this this might be more than two years. I, I'm not sure, um, uh, but for sure it is a very old announcement, so old that I I can't recall it. So um, that like I said, usually it should be around six months. I don't know what went wrong with this one, but here you go: three thousand six hundred and eighty-four pieces. Blue Bricks is asking for a hundred and fifty euros. That's four dot one cents a piece. And yeah, here we go. It's a casino. It's part of this beach series. The blue bricks, like I said, I mean, it's like it's like an old thing. Um, I think they are not. They haven't done any sets on this one for quite a while. And you have a diner here. You have a motel. Then they even selling all these beach panoramas itself. Like um, so basically, this thing here is, is I guess something like six or seven sets. And I think they also have a cinema, if I recall correctly. Actually, on my my German side, we even have a review on this one but anyhow um here you go for all of you who are, want to go back into i guess it's something like the 60s right if i look at the vehicles and have this the speech panorama here you go um if you um, if you're interested in that. And then let's go back and uh, into science fiction. And here the Quantum Colony set. I think this is the second availability um, that they have. I think there is... I'm not 100% sure. We have, I have to double check. Um, but um, actually we can do this. Uh, let's, let's do a quick background check on this one. Let's go into science fiction and filter by Quantum Colony. I think, yeah, this is the second set. So the semi-truck hauler is already available and may have talked about it in the news show here. I'm not 100% sure. And now we have the jet squadron. But as you can see, Quantum Colony is quite a series that Bluebix has announced. There's a shuttle, there's, there's an entire base that you can build. I'm not sure if they will continue after these announcements, but if this kind of, I guess it's something like, what is it called? Like hard science fiction. Um, and um, I, I guess if you're interested in this kind of stuff, then this is a good start, I would say. I'm not sure if Bluebooks will do any more beyond this. But let's go back to the Jet Squadron. It's a small set. It has, it has 513 pieces and a Bluebooks is asking for 20 euros. That's 3.9 cents a piece. And yeah, you have three Jets uh, for your science fiction setup. Anyhow, let's move on to a Blue Bricks Pro set, the Empire State Building. And this is a good example because I talked about this in my um, in series four. So that was mid-September. That is, like I said, uh, very unusual that it went so quick. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe, you know, I, I honestly don't know. Um, maybe that is a design that has, because Blue Bricks Pro, usually they are working with partners here. I guess this is a Singbao based set. Um, I, I'm waiting for confirmation on this one. Um, so I honestly don't know. Maybe there was an idea from Singbao and Blue Bricks just picked it up or I don't know. They have just not talked about it before. But anyhow, it's a bit unusual that it goes so quickly. Anyhow, 3,245 pieces. Uh, Bluebox is asking for 180 euros. That's 5.5 cents a piece. That, that is actually a lot, I would say. It really depends on what the brick quality is. If the brick quality is like usual Bluebox Pro, Pro and, and if you consider how many of these grills you have in here... Um, then I would say that is rather expensive. Let me just double check. So the Willis Tower uh, from Blue Bricks, which, which was a special. Yeah, it was also, no, it was 3.8 cents a piece. Um, and so this one here now, five and a half, that, that's quite an uptick. So you get here, basically for the same price, you get a thousand additional pieces. So I would say that is a better deal. However, keep in mind with the Blue Bricks Pro Series, you have um, a paper manual. Um, Blue Week Special has PDF. None of the, it's it's ex exclusive. So Blue Week Specials have only the PDF. Blue Week Pros have only the paper manual. I personally I prefer PDF. So that's why special is usually more my thing. Just keep that in mind when you're considering uh, buying this one. And then we have the Modern Treehouse, the 105, 153, 4,429 pieces. And yeah, it is a treehouse. Uh, same thing. Blue Week announced it. I think also yeah in mid September. 
Bluebox is asking for 180 euros. That's four dollars one cents a piece. And um, yeah, it is a treehouse that is in many way, ways very f- similar or should be very familiar if you know the Lego Ideas treehouse. However, and especially the top of the tree is basically the Lego Ideas design, right? Um, however, um, it is... If you look at the building, obviously it's it's very different. Like they say, it's it's a modern building. Um, and but I think it still, you know, it, I think it's it stands on its own in many ways. So it's not like a pure copy from the Lego Ideas House. It has a lot of its own design elements, um, and that actually makes it a great addition. That's what I think. So I if if you always dreamed about okay, let's let's extend the Lego Ideas. A tree house, um, then here you go, right? You have an extension. So for instance, this could be the parents building and then the other tree house from Lego could be for the kids because it looks more like, okay, where kids would love to live. Um, it also has certain similarities, especially with this last thing here down here. It has a lot of similarities to um, the Mold King uh, tree house as well, which actually could also be an interesting addition. So here you go. Now you have, I think, three of these uh, behemoths um, tree houses on the market. And um, you might even add the small one from Kada. Um, why not? So here you go, an entire forest of tree houses. Let's move on to the only announcement for this week. Um, announced as the Blue Ricks Pro set. Actually, if you go on the Blue Ricks website, they say it's Zingbao. I'm never really sure why they do it like this. This is only happening with these army series, a German army series from Blue Bricks. And they call it a Blue Bricks Pro. It has a Blue Bricks number, but they say it's Zingbao. They don't do this with the other Blue Bricks Pro sets. Not 1% sure why they do this. Anyhow, we are talking about the Battle Tank Panther, the KF-51, the 105540. That is actually not a tank tank that the German army is using. That is um, a tank that is produced in Germany. I think there has been a prototype announced or shown this week. Um, but it is from from the German industrial military industrial complex. It is not an, a tank that the army is actually using. I don't know if they ever will. I don't think so. But I'm not really an expert on tanks. So anyhow, um, this thing will have 1,324 pieces. Pretty sure it's it's manufactured by Zingbao because that's what they say on the website. And it's scale 1 to 30. I should actually add this to Seti Beam. But anyhow, um, that's all, all we know at this point. All right, so let's move on to Yaki, and I have no idea if that is how they want to have their brand pronounced. Anyway, that's actually a new brand that I added very recently to the site. Um, as you can see, there's a ton. You, the only of my um, shop partners that currently runs all of most of these Yaki sets is actually Bluebrex, but I also have these two new sets from Afrobrex. So I do hope to see more. I have never built Yaki myself. Based on what I know, this should be Gobrix pieces, but again, I can't confirm because I haven't built it. And um, yeah, but I'm actually definitely looking forward and want to look into these. I just have to wait for the right set. So these are the Dawn Project Astronauts, the JK9106. Actually, I guess that's a loose translation out of Chinese here. And yeah, it's it's a gigantic astronaut and it's it's like half covered, half uncovered so that you can look in the insides. Personally, I always consider these this concept a bit creepy. <laughs> Actually, it's it's a bit like the Fantasy Astro Boy. I think they had a very similar concept, and I mean, I I, I understand the idea. It's and I think it's a great idea, and I think this th- thing may even be pretty boring if you just you know had the left half this kind of covered up suit on both sides. But at the same time, it looks creepy. <laughs> I, I just I can't help it. But anyhow, um, I'm I think this is this is a great one. I would I'm really curious how this hammered piece is done. It looks like like it's like it has chrome or anything like this. Um, quite quite interesting actually. It has slightly below 900 pieces, and um, yeah, here we go. And then they have a rocket. Um, they call it the semi disassembled perspective rocket. Again, I guess that's a loose translation out of Chinese. Um, and similar idea, similar concept. So you have um, one half of the rocket uh, looks. Um, um, yeah, it's covered up, and the other one you can look into the inside. Great idea, really like it. I guess that's a Long March 5, um, but it looks pretty, like... It, it looks... The proportions don't look right. I think it's too thick 
perfect and not high enough. But I think nevertheless, it is an interesting design and, and the whole idea of that you can look into the inside is definitely interesting. I think Kada has um, a similar concept for their new Long March 5. So um, yeah, I'm really... Um, that is actually one that I want to build. Um, it's actually on 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 its way here, so let's see. Um, but yeah, I think this one can be interesting as well. It's just $88. Uh, dollars. Um, the Kata one, I think, is a bit more expensive. So with Yaki done, let's move on to Lego. And here we have a couple of announcements by Lego on the new gift with purchases series. So that's obviously, you know, preparation for VIP weekend, Black Friday, etc. So um, they usually uh, Lego is always giving these... Um, uh, gift with purchase is a price tag but usually that does not mean that they sell it at least they haven't done to my knowledge in the past anyhow this one here is the winter elf scene so that's a new winter set i think they usually do one or two of these uh, every year usually i think last winter it was one before christmas and one after christmas anyhow we are talking about the 4564 it has 372 pieces two minifigures included two elves actually one with the with the red torso, uh, which I think is pretty amazing for all of you who have built like the Elven uh, Elvish Clubhouse, I think it was called. I'm um, right. They had only the green torsos in there, so now you have the red one here as well in the in the GWP. And yeah, it's it's a nice, beautiful winter scene. No stickers, um, squirrel included. Um, so what else is there to say? Um, it's a typical um, Lego. Um, tree design by means of a one by one two thirds slopes and yeah i think it is it is a pretty nice and beautiful design even more exciting i guess a lot of people will be around the tribute to lego house the 4563 583 pieces um blue brick says it's worth 30 uh, blue brick says lego says it's 30 euros worth and i i think yeah it's, it's i'm pretty sure this is one a lot of folks are excited about um because this is basically like miniature versions of all the lego house sets that you can usually buy only exclusively in the lego house the lego house itself the molding machine obviously the wooden duck i mean they're all here and um, I think they are just exciting and everyone can get them, right? It's a gift with purchase. You don't have to go to Denmark uh, to get these. So I guess also for the international audience, like this is a very good news and they look really beautiful. And we have actually Jay Sprig Block has already done the review. So maybe it's, uh, yeah, take a look. You can, as always, everything that I'm showing here, all these SETDB entries, you will find uh, in the links down below for those of you uh, that are listening to YouTube. Um, podcast show notes have, a, have these links as well. So just move there and then, as always, you can jump to Lego, you can jump to the all the reviews. Actually, right now it's only one, but for many Lego sets, I have like a, a huge set of reviews, both on the, uh, written ones and YouTube videos that you can take a look at. It's like a nice collection usually. Anyhow, uh, let's move to the third one, which for me personally is like the disappointment of the week. It's uh, Gustav Eiffel's apartment, the 4579, 228 pieces, one minifigure. I think a lot of folks were excited around this one due to the rumors um, because, of course, it's going to be part of the new Eiffel Tower, which I will be talking about next week. But anyhow, um, a lot of people are quite excited. I guess this gift with purchase will come with this new largest Lego building with 10,001 pieces. And yeah, and you have to buy it on the launch week because you get this awesome gift with purchase. And in reality now, we have a very simple building i mean this is as simple and small as it can get and it's like a million stickers i think without the stickers and i guess think there is a picture where you see it from the out yeah you can see it here on the box um this is how it's going to look like right it's like a ton of gray it's as simple as you can get it's the most simplistic building technique i've seen in a while and I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not against simplicity, but I think this one is is just not enough. It has an awesome package, like see black 18 plus packaging, right? Um, so it looks the packaging actually almost looks better than the set. And if you look at the minifigure, right, it's not it's not a special one. These are all, as far as I can tell, standard pieces, uh, not even printed trousers. So I don't know. Uh, from my point of view, this is not good enough uh, to 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 justify you know buying at launch that's what i think i mean if if you are if you don't care about gift with purchase you know just get it it's for free yeah why not but 
for me, this is not a gift with purchase to get excited about, to be honest. The homage to the Lego house, that is a good one. But this one here is, from my point of view, too simple. But anyhow, let's move on to the Lego money tree. And this is actually a set I'm pretty excited about. I would, I didn't see this one coming. I think there were no rumors, nothing. We're talking about the 4648, um, the money tree, 336 pieces. Uh, Lego is asking for $25 US. That's seven and a half cents a piece. I guess for list price, that is not too bad. I assume it's going to be exclusive, but I'm not 100% sure. And um, I mean, I do think all of these should be prints, right? This looks, if you look at the pictures, all of these tiles look pet printed, which is amazing. There is gold stuff in there. It seems to be even metallic gold. So um, so this, these see it down below. These are per gold pieces this this stuff here looks like metallic gold so there's a lot of amazing pieces and it, I, I just think it looks beautiful i'm not sure if i like the top here all these like regular slopes in a tree is like not something that i i would like to see something different however i guess that's something that is very easy to fix put a few more limb elements on it something like that but all in all i do believe that this is a beautiful set it could even be it look should even look nice next to the bonsai from from lego but yeah i don't know i can't help it i don't even know what it really means like this kind of tree i haven't done any background research um what a money tree means but i do believe it looks rather beautiful and then we have the new uh new lunar sets lunar new year parade or new year sets i should rather say um and usually i love this series in the past however this year i have my my, my a little bit of trouble with these but anyhow let's talk about the 80111 it's 1,653 pieces, going to be released 25th of December. Lego is asking for $130 US. That's slightly below eight cents a piece. And yeah, I think it's it's. I think there's a lot of value for the price in here. I mean, there's like a, it feels like a million minifigures in there. Um, I think we have a couple of very interesting pet printed pieces. For instance, look at here in the front these two by four tiles. They look pet printed. Um, you have these, you know, these, I don't know, um, material, what, what, what can you call these? I mean, it's like, it's like sails on the side. I'm not really, not really sure what this is, but, um, I mean, there's a lot of interesting pieces in here. I think again, these two by two tiles should be pet printed as well. You have these Nexo Knight shields should be pet printed based on what I can see here. Of, of course, there's also like a million stickers, but I mean, there's a lot of value in the set. I'm um, just from an from a stylistic point of view, from a design point of view, it's not really my cup of tea. But hey, here you go. If this is something you were always interested in, you wanted to have, you want to build something a parade like this one, then I think you can have a lot of fun with this set. And there is actually a second one. That's the Lunar New Year display, the AD one one zero. 872 pieces it is 90 dollars us that's slightly above 10 cents that's actually quite a lot and the interesting one here are these three by three round tiles because i just can't believe that they are printed um they look like stickers but at the same time they don't because they go to the edge right um so from my point of view, they, they have to be printed. Um, I, I just can't help it because stickers usually are, of course, always slightly smaller than the tile is. And the tile is red. You can see this here. And the print, in quotes, goes right to the edge. So from my point of view, this should be pet, uh, pet printed tiles. And I think tiles a lot of folks will be very excited about. But I'm really looking forward to seeing reviews on this one because I'm so curious. Anyhow, the flower is amazing. It's It's really a beautiful flower setup. Then you have these these um, butterflies here, which I've also never seen before. So there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. There's of course a lot of gold again, right? You have a lot of pearl gold. You have metallic gold in here. So yeah, I think it's it's quite nice. And you have again this uh, concept. Um, from Lego that they say, okay, they put two manuals in the box so you can build this together, you know, as a couple, something like that. Could be could be very interesting. Um, looking forward to see reviews on this one. And then we have a new Mac, uh, the Monkey Kit Monkey King Ultra Mac, the 80045, 1,705 pieces. And Lego is asking for $160 US. Obviously, this will 
uh, go, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you will see these on Amazon, etc. And um, so I do assume prices will come down. This one is going to be released 1st of January 2023. And I mean, from a price value perspective, it's for sure a lot better than the Hulkbuster. Obviously, there is no, you know, external license included. Monkey King is Lego's own thing. I must say from a from an optics perspective, the way it looks, it is well done, but I'm more on the Ninjago side, I have to say. I prefer the Ninjago style, if you will, uh, compared to Monkey King. But obviously, there are a lot of Monkey King's fans out there. And I think a lot of folks will be very excited because it's a well done Mac. It has even a light brick included. Price is for a Lego Mac quite reasonable, for sure a lot more reasonable than the Hulkbuster. So yeah, why not? Here we go, a Monkey King Mac. So with that, we are moving on to Mork. Here we have the Ecological Park, the 31063, um, now available in China, in China, in China, uh, Chinese shops, 1,506 pieces. I think um, Bawir, for instance, is is calling for um, roughly $49 US, that's 3.2 cents a piece. As always, keep in mind, of course, it will depend on where you live, what it actually gonna cost you. I think I pick from the Bawea side usually, and Africa do the same, the shipping to Germany uh, price EU, um, if you will. Um, so again, it depends on where you live, uh, how much it's gonna cost, but I think, yeah, I, I've talked about these before a lot. I really like these. A morg small buildings forange is doing similar ones kada has done such in the in the past like these shrink down modulars if you will so not on a 32 by 32 base plates but actually a bit smaller for those of us including myself i mean i'm living in a, in a condo with my family and um yeah i just i don't have the spice to have an entire basement full of lego modulars the lego modular city right on i don't know 30 square meters something like that that is not in the cards for me and for folks like me i think these smaller buildings are quite a good great message they are not base plate based so they do fit into the new lego street system um obviously for an ecological park you don't need streets very close but you know where i'm getting at right with the new street system is pretty small and compared with these small buildings i think there is also an opportunity to build a tiny city on a shelf so that's what i like these for however i think the f um, um key player should mention they have also done a lot of these small buildings however the key play and kada ones are a bit smaller actually not e i even prefer these they are like usually like 16 by 18 stats um while this one here from Foranga and and Mark they are a bit a bit a bit larger, and then we have the Mold King Black Pearl. So that is a set I would usually not talk about because to my knowledge, um, this is a design from Mock Your Bricks, and to my knowledge, Mold King has not an agreement with the designer. Um, that was my knowledge until last week, and this is why I didn't talk about it. So I kind of filter these sets where the company is kind of borrowing uh, to be uh, try to be polite here uh, a design from a free designer like from rubricable or anything like that and um, usually i filter all of these sets out i don't talk about them in the news show and they will not show up in the set to be by the way if you see a set in the set to be where you would say hey this is a stolen design um just let me know ping me send me an email i think there is like an about box here um uh send me an email and i will i will look into it and if if what you say is can be confirmed then i will immediately remove it from the set because obviously you know i have more than nine thousand sets in there uh, there might something slips too but in general i will filter them out however the german shop blue bricks because blue bricks is not just um a vendor um they that they are making sets, but they are also a regular shop. And Blue Bricks has an agreement now with Mock Your Bricks, and um, they are allowed to sell it now. I mean, they everybody's allowed to sell it, but you know what I mean, right? They have an agreement. I guess there is some money um, moving. Um, so this set, from my point of view, from Blue Bricks, and actually I will only show the set for this shop for the time being. For me, that is a clean set now. However, I will filter out every other shop offering. This is just how I run it, um, how I do it. Um, it's it's a compromise as always, but here we go. Anyhow, now we have the Black Pearl from Mode Kang, and like I said, it is designed from Mock Your Bricks. And um, I think it's a beautiful design. I'm pretty sure Mold King has already has changed a few things. They usually do. They never 
take the original design like exactly like the one of course it's a ton of black so we have to see how you know brick quality of course especially with black i think black is one of the most complicated colors when you know when the bricks are not perfect by mean of micro scratches and stuff and it's a ton of black but I definitely want to build this one. I think it is it is a beauty in many ways. And I do hope that maybe Blue Bricks will make more deals like this because it Mold King has more sets in their portfolio, I think, from this designer. By the way, as always, you can see here I have... If you go again on the link of the page, um, you will find um, all the resources to take a look at Mock Your Bricks. Um, I think they have... Uh, I think I oh yeah okay they have also a website um, where you can you know take a look at all the different offerings it's it's amazing like the Queen Anne is is just a beauty but also this one here I mean uh, come on it's it's unbelievable uh, you can even get for free a discontinued project but anyhow um, it's 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 an amazing portfolio of amazing ship designs anyhow let's move on uh, to a motorcycle where we have availability over here in europe actually not in china it's the moyu um, 88017 669 pieces and again blue bricks is a shop here in this scenario like a, this company is doing everything <laughs> Every business model that exists exists in the brick industry, Bluebricks is working on it. Anyhow, uh, 33 euros, that's 4.9 cents a piece. Yeah, this motorcycles are not really my cup of tea and this color scheme for sure is not as well. But for those of you who like Technic, like motorcycles and, and, and looking for a good deal, I think this one is interesting to you maybe. And then we have from Zembo the new Tianhe Space Station core module. Um, I mean, Space Station is a big topic. A lot of Chinese brands are moving into this one, right? Kada has started to work on this. Obviously, Keyplay has, has done a ton. Like they have like, I don't know, almost like a dozen sets. And um, now Zembo is, uh, or has started quite a while ago to, to jump on that train as well. But this one here, I think, is special because it has 3,327 pieces. So this is minifigure scale, as far as I can tell. We are talking, by the way, about the 203, 337, um, in China, Afrobrick is asking for $140 US, that's 4.2 cents a piece. And it is, oh my god, this thing is huge. I think it's something like 60 centimeters in length or so. Um, it's, it's a gigantic module, there's a lot of metallic gold in there. Um, I guess also prints all of these solar panels look pet printed and it's just just gigantic and you can open it up you have again mini figures these mini figures might make trouble with customs in some countries um, because Lego of course has a has a lot of IP protection especially over here in Europe on mini figures so I don't know I mean it's it's to the at this point and a lot of Europeans are very frustrated about this because it's still, I think, a bit unclear from a from a legal perspective, which minifigures are okay in Europe and which are not, which one will you know can cross the border freely, if you will, and which not, because Lego has a 3D design. It's not a patent. I don't know what it's called. It like it's like a 3D design trademark on minifigures i'm not a lawyer and for sure not in english but anyhow um, i'm not actually not sure if these minifigures are okay or not anyhow here you go uh for the two cents a piece um that's a lot of space station for your money so then we have the unimog rescue vehicle from tgl um the 42 uh, 42 3 um 3000 850 pieces that's a lot of pieces and Afrobrick in this case again from China is looking for $150 US and as always price from these that I that you see here are usually with shipping to Central Europe A and B always keep in mind this price usually means without the original package right to save space uh, cargo space if you will they repackage these I think Afrobrick sometimes have has an option where you can decide um, if you want to have it with the original packaging or not so it's a gigantic set. It's a lot of technique. Um, I'm not so sure about the color scheme. I would personally, I mean, it looks a bit like a military. 
I would prefer to have a non-military version, but anyhow, I mean, this thing is 46 centimeters long, uh, 20 in width and 23 in height. So that's that's a lot of stuff. I mean, this is a big Technic set and that's, yeah, a lot of Technic that you get for your money here. And then we have two announcements only from Blue Bricks at this point. Haven't seen it yet in a Chinese shop from Wange. There we have Santorini uh, in Greece. Um, that is actually a, um, a tourist attraction, I guess, in Greece. Yeah, and I think it... It immediately, if you look at it, it it smells vacation, right? It's like a mix of vacation and James Bond, I guess. And it's just beautiful. Um, and they have done, as always, Wanger's designers are doing a great job. I'm personally not so happy with the brick quality that they have, especially these these basements or base plates, whatever you might call it. It's it's there's a lot of let's say um, they are not very stable, not very robust. That's that's usually a problem that I have with Wanger sets. Very hard, I think. I mean, I haven't built much, but what I have built, I, I wasn't, yeah, I was not so happy how you can get the bricks together. And they even had this light tendency after you have built them to get apart on their own. Like they had a life on their own, if you will. Anyhow, um, beautiful design. Again, um, the uh, plaque here is pet printed. At least it has been in the one that I've built before. And yeah, here you go. 1,372 pieces. And then we have the customs house from uh, out of Shanghai. Um, a building from 1927. And again, I think Wanger Design Team has done a great job. I do assume that these uh, clocks here will be printed as well. 1,243 pieces. We are talking about this set number 6231. And um, yeah, that's basically all I know at this point in time. Again, we have only announcement from Bluebex that they will get this set into shop. We do not have a price yet. Where we do have a price is in a very long time, I haven't talked about Zing Bauer sets. Um, and we are talking about the 21011 uh, availability over here in Europe. Haven't seen this one in China as well. Um, 812 pieces um, over here in Europe. Um, it costs um, 55 euros. That's 6.8 cents a piece. Sounds like a lot for a Zing Bauer set, but this thing includes remote control. So there's motor and and then uh, remote control in it, etc., etc. So this is a fully motorized version. And I guess the size should, could, you know, this thing could be a lot of fun to drive because it's not too big. It has a reasonable size. Um, I should, it should have a lot of, a good, let's say, motor power to weigh ratio. Um, so I think this one could be a, a lot of fun to drive. Let's see. Um, it looks also, if I look at the Technic construction, it looks pretty robust. So again, I uh, haven't built it. 812 pieces. Here you go. So that was the sets uh, for this week. Um, um, set updates and announcements. So let's move on to mocks of the week. And here we have the Coal uh, Colliery Mine, is that correct? Kohle Zeche Bergwerk in German. That is from Bricks on Rails and it's 14,648 pieces. I think it's the largest mock I have ever talked about. And it's just, it's a gigantic beer moss. However, it's not only large, I mean 14,000 pieces, I mean, come on. Um, it is the reason why you need so many pieces is also due to the building technique and I think you can see this on this picture here you know this is masonry but there is no masonry bricks in the brick in there it's all built out of plates and as far as I can tell it's all or at least mostly no I think it's actually the only thing I see is one by two plates there must be a million of them I mean I guess more like 10,000 but it must be a lot of them and even if you look at the roof roof these these roof the, this roof is built out of one by one uh, slopes. So it's uh, like a million tiny pieces. And this is the reason. I mean, it's an amazing look. I'm not sure how good it looks when you get very close. I'm not so sure about this look that we are seeing right now. But if you look at it from afar as a whole, um, the the design is just amazing and beautiful. And in general, this entire thing, I mean, it's also large and it has a ton of detail. Um, so yeah, here you go, an amazing mock, however it is, and you're only paying, by the way, only 15 euros for 14,000. I mean, this, I don't even know how big this manual is, but it must be huge. So, um, yeah, great job. Um, I think this one is, is just great. And then we have the Black Knight's Round Tower from Lego Lot, 2,296 pieces, and it's asking for 10 pounds for the manual. 
And I think Legolet a lot has done a similar tower before, the Black Falcon's Grand Tower. I guess this was like a modification, not really an alternate, I think. It was more, yeah, it was a modification of the medieval castle, the 31120 from Lego. And here, now he moved into uh, this idea of Black Knight's Round Tower. I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of this black design. Um, you know, that was my castle in the in the end 80s. Uh, you know, my childhood castle. I had one of the black ones. And I think mine was from 1988. So, um, great for me to see this great design. Um, but yeah, I mean, you need 2,300 parts almost. And yeah, it's not an alternate or anything. You have to, you're on your own. Anyhow, uh, let's move on to the Crypt of the Rising Dead by Mickey Bricalotti. Uh, 1,597 pieces, asking for just $1.50. Um, that's not a lot of money for this manual, um, which is great. Um, and yeah, I think it's a great crypt. Um, of course, it is, you know, it has a, uh, a slightly reduced color uh, palette. Um, uh, you know, color scheme is mostly light bluish gray, dark bluish gray. The fence in black, but that's more or less it. A little bit of black in there and green. Um, and yeah, but I think it's it's really a nice one and could also be just, you know, inspiration and a starting point to build your own, um, you know. Um, I guess this has been a church, I would guess. I mean, it's called a crypt of the rising dead, but you could also interpret this as like a broken church. And maybe, yeah, this could be a starting point to do an entire graveyard or anything like that. So here you go. And then we have an, a slight modification of the Sanctum Sanctorum from Lego. And this is a proposal from Mock Scout. Actually, the modification menu is free of charge. And I guess the idea is I think he said something. I think he wanted to simplify the set and get the uh, bit of the superhero vibe out of it. That is the idea, i.e. you want to use this thing like a regular modular building in your city, right? So if you're saying, hey, superhero is not really my cup of tea, but I like the design, I want to have it in my city, um, like um, with the Daily Bugle, I think there are a lot of folks who said, yeah, Spider-Man is all nice, but I just want to, I just, I just want the building. And um, so if that is your thing with the Sanctum as well, which I think is a reasonable, um, idea because it is a beautiful building, I must say, independent of the Marvel license and Doctor Strange and everything. So here you go, Mock Scout uh, has you covered and has a free of charge manual for this purpose. And then we have um, a locomotive, the ÖBB Baureihe uh, 1020, that's an 8 stud a locomotive um, asking for 12 euros for this one for 1,287 pieces. That's, I would say, um, that's that's more in the upper range, I must say. It's from Copernicus 508, which has actually, who has actually done a lot of, also for instance, DB Baureihe V200, uh, which is a beauty, especially this red one here, I think. So yeah, for you train enthusiasts, there's a lot to find here. And then with that, we are done with Mocks of the Week and come to Lego Ideas. And here we have only Jaws again. So this is again one that I think made the 10,000 before, has then rejected by the Lego team. And since The Office, which had a similar story, so just as a small quick background information, I've talked about this before, I think. With, I think it was The Office, I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, it was an idea set where uh, Lego reject the design, then more or less the same design was coming back up again, made the 10,000 again, and was reapplied, if you will, and this time Lego accepted. And since they have done that, they kind of opened the gates for a lot of folks just reapplying and reapplying. Um, I personally don't think that this was a smart move by Lego, but anyhow, here we go. We have Jaws again. Um, the designer claims that there are updates, so it's not exactly the same thing, um, I do think. But I'm actually not sure. I mean, I, I, I've talked about this in, in my German news show in the original design before, so I'm not 100% sure what the differences are. But anyhow, um, it is still a beautiful design, right? I mean, forget the shark. I mean, I'm not a Jaws fan, I do admit, but I really like the ship. The boat is, the fishing boat is just amazing. It's pretty cool. Actually, Bluebix has done, not not a design like this, but Bluebix has done what they call, I think, the old fishing boat. It has been a Bluebix special. Nowadays, it's a Bluebix Pro. I did a review on this one on my German channel. Um, 
awesome set. I just like this idea of these these small but very detailed fishing boats. And I think this one here is a beautiful design. Again, personally, I don't need the shark. But here we go. For you fans of the movie, it is a classic. Here you go. You have a new LEGO Ideas entry. With that, uh, the only thing lost to say is I hope you like the show. For those of you who watch this on YouTube, please leave a like or a comment or even better subscribe to the channel. For you podcast listeners, please leave a review. Um, review, I must say. Comment or like on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you listen to the show. Thanks for listening. See you next week.